Okay, so in each of the three test tubes, we've got 10 ml of hydrogen peroxide and five drops of detergent. So what we're going to do is we're going to add manganese dioxide to the first one and liver catalase to the second. And then our third one is our control to prove that what we're adding to the other two test tubes is going to, in fact, be the reason why we are getting the results that we are getting. So hydrogen peroxide should be broken down into oxygen and water and the detergent will trap the oxygen bubbles and give us froth, which we can actually measure. So we're going to add manganese dioxide into one, liver into the other, and we are going to start the stop clock for 60 seconds. also put a thermometer into the control. So the starting temperature of our hydrogen peroxide was about 23 degrees. And what we'll do is have a look at the temperature that's generated or the temperature that of the solutions once the reaction has run for 60 seconds. So we check the manganese dioxide first and the height of the froth is about 30 centimetres. So I'll just keep a wee record of that. And the lever one is at, still rising to 10 and a half centimetres. And our control is showing no change and no froth produced at all. Temperature wise, our control is still remaining at 23 degrees. And our manganese dioxide. At the moment, is it 24 degrees? 25? And the liver catalase, which is seriously overflowing. It's also given us a reading of about 25 degrees. Okay, so in terms of heat generated by the experiments, they're very similar.